Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, Internet Sales Manager here at Law MacArthur Ford in Salina, Kansas. Your source for Ford news update and information with a video on the 2023 Ford Explorer. We're going to be doing what we call our complete guide video for the ST line trim for the 2023 Ford Explorer. So this is where we cover all the, the standard equipment plus the different package available and standalone options in this one video. So if you like videos like this or like to stay updated on Ford product information and maybe even, you know, production information, you'll probably like our YouTube channel. So hit that red subscribe button down below so you can subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, that way you can be notified next time we have another video uploaded to our YouTube channel. So we're gonna talk a little bit about this. We're gonna basically our complete guide video. We will cover you know standard equipment plus different packages available and standalone options all in this one video. It's gonna be a very long video. I cover all the, the, the features and equipment. So because of that, use the timestamps down below. Go ahead and move around in here and uh, move, use the timestamps to move around in the video. Also, just so you know, 2023 Ford Explorer order guy order banks are open, so you can order an Explorer right now. So we're hoping this video kind of helps out for people that maybe think they want to be uh, looking at an ST line trim. Uh, so that way they kind of know what's already coming standard and if they want some of these other features, what packages are they available in. So when they go to their dealership, they know how to order these vehicles. So we're going to go through and, and run down that. Now, if you want to order, uh, struggling to find a good local dealership that uh, you uh, feel trusting or you, you trust, you can work through us. Uh, we do have an offer, a special YouTube offer for free shipping. So we'll talk about that as well as our pricing and such at the end of the video. And yes, there's a timestamp for that as well down below if you want to check that out. So let's go ahead and dive in, talk about some of these mechanical features that are standard first. Now I'm working through this. We are going to use Ford's website to kind of give us an idea because Ford's building price is up and running. So you can go through this and do this yourself uh, for the most part. But we'll go through specifics, not only just like what the features are included, but also, uh, you know, kind of going over how do you find those inf that information. So go to Ford.com over here. Say so if we, yep, got that pulled up. So Ford.com, we're going to go to SUVs and crossovers. We're going to look for the Ford Explorer right here. This is uh, available in hybrid. We're going to go down to the build and price down here. Um, when you click on that, you're going to see first we need to build our own. And we'll get that acknowledged. It's basically saying due to high demand, there could be some supply chain issues there and taking a little bit longer. Now, we have a video on the base trim, the XLT already, and we're working on the ST line. So if you're interested in those two, uh, those videos are there. And at the end of this video, we do have a playlist uh, for all the different Explorer videos, uh, so you can check it out there. So we're going to click on this ST line and start our build. There we go, and go in here. And if we go to powertrain, uh, now of course you do have tabs up here. You can move around in this uh, sections. We're going to go to the powertrain and talk about mechanical features first. And you'll see in here that standard engine, the only engine available for the ST line, is the 2.3 liter EcoBoost four-cylinder engine with the auto start-stop technology, which means it'll come up to the stoplight. Uh, you press the brake, it's going to shut the vehicle off. When you let go of the brake, it's going to turn it back on. And it's something you can activate and deactivate with the little A with the circle around it. I think it's uh, usually on the, the instrument panel. And uh, so that's where you would uh, do that. Now, um, there is, uh, we're going to talk later about some different options. One of them that Ford is doing uh, just to kind of help out supply chain issues is they are removing the stop, auto start stop in a lot of vehicles. And they may require that and give you a credit for that if they do. I think it's a $50 credit. Now, also, the standard drivetrain is the rear-wheel drive. So it comes standard and rear-wheel drive, but you can upgrade to the intelligent four-wheel drive system. Now, if you do upgrade to intelligent four-wheel drive, you will get that terrain management switch. So you just turn that dial to, to fit the terrain that you're on, and it's going to change and, and take care of the four-wheel drive that it needs for that particular terrain, uh, which is really cool. So Explorer is one of the first vehicles to get that type of system. 10-speed automatic transmission is also standard equipment as well for you here. Uh, now, we have, we'll get the 358 non limit slip rear axle uh, for rear-wheel drive and four-wheel drive. Front and rear stabilizer bar as well is going to be standard equipment and front and rear independent suspension. So that's what's really great about that is it will help because uh, the suspension is individual on each one of those axles. It's going to give you a smooth ride even if you have those potholes and different things that you might hit. Also, electric parking brake with the auto hold feature, which means that you can you know come up to uh, a stop whatever stoplight and you can actually press the auto hold button it's going to hold the brake you can take your foot off the brake completely so which is pretty cool also you will get hill start assist standard equipment and for all your four wheel drives you're going to also get the hill descent control as well you also get the electric power assist steering with e which is e-pass so what's basically uh, since it's electronically controlled those slower speeds parking lots and such it's so much easier to turn that steering wheel Higher speeds, it's going to stiffen it up for you and even has side wind stabilization as well for the Explorer so that wind doesn't push you from side to side when you're on the highway. Here in Kansas, 
we get that a little bit going along on our highways with this, uh, especially the flat part of Kansas and Western Kansas comes in real handy there. So that's all of the uh, mechanical features. Now I want to go over some safety features and doing this, I'm going to show you a clip that I did on the uh, base trim, which has all the same safety features as the uh, this ST line. So if you did watch either one of the last two videos, you pretty much got a recap on all the safety features. You could go ahead and skip ahead and go to the uh, timestamp down below for the exterior uh, uh, features there. But if you haven't seen those, you want the safety features, here it is. Now, I'm talking about some of the safety features. First, talk about the different airbag system that's in the vehicle. So you will have a driver and front passenger dual stage front airbag. That means it deploys a different size airbag, depends on how close you are to the front of the vehicle. So you're real close, deploy a uh, smaller airbag. If you're further away, a bigger airbag. It really just depends on how far you are. It does have a, a sensor underneath that seat that they know, the system knows how close you are to the steering wheel to deploy the correct size airbag. Also front seat side uh, impact airbags. So they'll be on the side of those seats on those front seats. Uh, if you have a side collision on the AB pillar, it's gonna go in, uh, it's gonna force expand and protect you from any kind of side collision and that being collapsed into you as well. Also, you do get the driver and front passenger both will get a knee airbag. So for the driver, it's gonna come down from that steering column for the passenger out of that glove box to help protect from any front collision and that engine coming in to you in the cabin. Also safety canopy uh, side curtain airbags with rollover sensor. So basically if the vehicle ends up rolling over, it's gonna pull those uh, coming down beside it to help from breaking glass coming into the vehicle uh, that way as well. So a great airbag system here. Uh, with, they call, Ford likes to call it the personal safety system because uh, you are kind of uh, keeping you protected in the, those collisions there. Now let's talk about some other ways uh, to protect you if you're driving along. So th there is one way to help uh, hopefully prevent you from having any kind of accident and that is advanced track with roll stability control and curve control uh, the goal, goal behind this is to keep you on your intended path so maybe you're going that curve a little too fast use a series of brakes around the vehicle and the wheel that it needs to to help you keeping going where you need to go whether it be slick outside maybe you just went in that curve a little too fast and you're trying to slow down and then keep control it's going to do that as well and as well as that roll stability control too now, if you are in an accident, maybe you uh, you did get in an accident, you're off the side of the road, need help, does have SOS post grass alert system that honks a horns, flashes lights, so people know that to come to your safety. You also do get 911 assist, so that allows you with a Bluetooth enabled phone to call 911 directly. And even we'll ask you and respond if you ha are not you know, using that and calling out, it's gonna ask you and maybe even call 911 directly if you, if you don't respond to the system as well. You get pre-collision assist with automatic emergency braking, which means if you're going following somebody behind you and they're going much slower than you, maybe you have the brakes on and you're not paying attention, talking to someone else or something, it's going to use as a series of tones that you need to stop. Preloads those brakes uh, with that brake support as well. So that way, when you hit your brakes, you're going to stop even faster. So it even puts a, a little thing on your productivity screen as well that, that blinks red, letting you know that there's someone stopped ahead of you. Also does have co post collision braking. So if you do get an accident, maybe you're unconscious, you're not able to put it in park, um, then it's going to break the vehicle so you don't have and you know don't roll off off to the side in, a, in an unsafe situation uh, worse than you already have with that that accident there. Also, you do get a lane keeping system. So that lane keeping system is a great system. Part of the Copilot 360 suite of features that you're going to get with this. Uh, that uses three different uh, functions behind it. One of them is a driver alert feature that's going to alert you if you take your hands off the steering wheel too often. Alerts you and lets you know that. Also, you do have a lane keeping aid system or an alert system, or you can use them both. So the uh, the alert system is going to do is it'll allow you to leave your lane. But when you cross over those lines, it's going to vibrate the steering wheel and let you know you've left your lane. Or you can use the aid system, which when you get over to those lines, will try to keep bring you back. It has to see those lines. Some some roads don't always. So this is an assist feature. It's not a autonomous driving by any means to help you keep in your lane. But it's a great system. If you use those together, it'll still bring you over. But when you get to the line, it'll vibrate the steering wheel and let you know that you're there. Also, last thing on the safety feature I want to cover is the security lock passive and a theft system. Basically means the coded key is the only one that can start the vehicle. So it automatically locks the steering column uh, for you uh, so that you can't start the vehicle unless that key is in the vehicle or if the key, if it has an actual key, 
that it puts it in there and turns that. So it has to have that the correct coded key for that. So really nice on how that all works as well. So that's all the little safety features. Let's take, let's now get into the uh, styling exterior look of the base trim and what it looks like. Now we're gonna talk about the exterior styling. And the first thing I wanna kinda uh, talk about here is what the exterior styling is. Uh, this is the trim if you want, if you don't really want the ST performance, but you kinda want the sporty look, this is the trim that you wanna go with. So this is your sport look not necessarily sport performance. Uh, we'll get into that when we talk about the ST itself. So first talking about the paint colors available for uh, the ST line. We do have the Agate Black Metallic is available. Uh, we do have the Carbonized Gray Metallic. We also do have the Star White Metallic. That is $7.95. It's three coats of paint on that. It doesn't tell you it's a tri-coat, but a Star White tri-coat paint color there. Yeah, you, know, you also do get the uh, stone blue metallic. That is $4.95. It is a tinted uh, or as a clear coat that goes on that one. So that's why it's a little more expensive. You do have the eruption green or forge green. So that's a nice color. I actually have it on my um, expedition. So love it. Uh, we do also have Atlas blue metallic, which is the one that's kind of represented in the image from the very, very beginning. We do have the rapid red. That is a, a tinted clear coat as well. It's $500. And then for the last color, you have ingot silver as well. So there you go. There's a different colors. We're actually going to go with the blue, just like it shows um, there on the website or on the, the homepage there. And then we're going to talk about the extra styling. So first talking about here on the front, you will see that Explorer on the grill. So you see that only a couple different uh, trims uh, levels are going to have that. ST is one of them. ST line is another. Um, so you're going to have that on the, the, the uh, hood itself. Just real nice representation that it's something special. You also have active grill shutter. Uh, those are going to open and close when it needs to. Uh, slower speeds uh, it needs that air to come in to help um, that 2.3 liter perform better. It's going to do that for you. So nothing you have to do on your end. It's going to do it itself. The grill is going to be a uh, black mesh insert grill, as you see there. So all black, kind of. You're going to get that sporty look here. You're not going to see a lot of extra chrome and such. Uh, it's going to be you know sport look. So black. You're going to see black body colored pretty much predominantly on this vehicle. Uh, you do get the upper bumper is going to be body colored. That's this part right up in here. So body colored front bumper. Also, the lower bumper, which is down here, is going to be molded in black down there as well. A little more durable that way. And then the uh, lower skid plate is going to be black as well down there. Uh, so you will have for, let's talk about your headlights and your lighting here. You will get configurable daytime running lights. Which means you can configure those to be on during the daytime if you want to. That is a setting you to activate in your lighting section of your vehicle settings screen. You also have LED low and high beam headlights with courtesy delay. So LED is so much brighter, uh, have a nice LED for those. Automatic feature as well for those headlights, which means you put it in the auto setting. They're gonna come on automatically when it gets dark, shut off when it gets light. Also, you will get unique blacked out treatments for your headlights. So it's hard to tell in here, but they're gonna uh, darken those inside there. Instead of being silver painted in there, they're gonna be dark. So that way, again, gives it that sport look on the front with, with those headlights. LED signature lighting is also going to uh, light up at the top of those, above those headlights along there. So it's where those are going to be located. LED fog lights as well, right down in here. So you have LED fog lights, headlights, LED signature lighting, uh, full LED there. Uh, you also do get the auto high beams as well, which means they'll come on automatically when it's uh, dark enough. Uh, you know, if somebody approaches you, you're in the city lights. It's going to shut those off. So, um, you know, your your high beams there automatically does it for you. Now, that is a, a feature also you can activate and deactivate in your lighting section of your vehicle settings screen. Now, talk about another feature with your headlights is the wiper activated or the rain lamp, as some people like to call those. Have your wipers on, the headlights will come on as well. Also, speaking of raining, rain sensing wipers is standard equipment on this trim. Uh, so that means if you have it in one of those intermittent settings for your wiper, when it starts to rain, they're going to turn on automatically. As it rains harder, it's going to go a little bit faster. So it takes care of everything for you, uh, which is really nice for you. Also, um, the acoustic laminated windsh uh, windshield and side windows. So make it quieter ride inside. Laminate also will protect it from things coming in so it doesn't just break the glass and come into the vehicle. Uh, also makes it quieter as well for, their, uh, for the vehicle. Also, you're going to have the 360-degree camera. There's going to be cameras under each of the mirrors, side mirrors, under the front emblem up here, and one in the back. So you can see completely around you. will be a split screen split screen view there so one side will be a 360 degrees around it like an kind of looking down on the vehicle but being able to see all the way around it and the other one will be your back or front camera depends on if you're in uh, reverse or you're in drive there 
Now, moving around to the side, it's gonna come with a 20 inch machine aluminum with a painted pocket. So nice slick uh, wheel here. And it comes uh, standard with all season tires, tire pressure monitor system for those. And you're gonna get the standard duty front and rear brake calipers, four wheel disc brakes with ABS as well. Uh, so molded in black, uh, wheel lip moldings. That's this uh, around the outside of that. So protects it, it's more durable for rocks and such. You're gonna see that also in the lower rocker molding down here and the side of the doors uh, too will be black right there. There's a little, um, right in there, you, there's a little black uh, accent there. That's gonna be black. Some vehicles it's silver, chrome, you know, this and it's gonna be black. Uh, also the wheel lip molding on the rear as well. So kind of really durable down here in the bottom to help protect from that kind of uh, uh, road debris and that kind of thing. Also, you do get the side rails up here, going to be black as well. So the, the the rock, the they are the roof roof rack side rails are going to be black for you as well. You'll see the belt line molding being black uh, as well for the ve the vehicle, and the mirror caps are going to be that molded in black too. Same material as the wheel lip moldings, the lower part of the bumpers, and the lower rocker molding as well. All that same kind of material there for those mirrors. Now, speaking of the mirrors, you do have uh, the power folding with auto fold mirrors. That's a pretty cool feature to have on this. Power and heated glass as well. You also get security approach lamp. That's gonna light the ground beside the vehicle. Puddle lamp as some people like to call it. Also will come with the bliss with cross traffic alert. So that's that blind spot information system. So if there's someone in your blind spot, it's gonna put a light in the corner of that mirror and let you know it's not safe to go in that lane at that time. Also, as you're backing up, someone's gonna cross your path behind you, uh, right? If you're backing up from parking space, somebody's driving down in the you know parking, in the parking lot or something real fast, it's gonna alert you, use those same sensors, a uh, series of tones that you need to stop, don't back up, puts a message in the productivity screen telling you if you're coming from the left or the right, as well as it lights up the mirror on the side they're coming from, uh, it's just, or the side they're at, they're gonna be on, or at, right? So once they get on the other side, it'll light up the other one. So. Pretty cool how that works. Now the door handles, body color door handles here for the ST line. Also you get the four door intelligent access. That means that any of the doors will allow you to unlock the vehicle. Have that key fob in your pocket, put your hands in the door handle, unlocks the vehicle. Press the ridges on any of the doors when you get out, will lock the vehicle up as well. Uh, you will get keyless entry remote keys with a passive key, which means it's the key that is kind of tucked inside. You don't need to pull it out unless the vehicle is dead and you need to be able to physically unlock the door so that you can get in and then pop the hood and, and, and uh, charge that battery. Uh, otherwise, it's gonna be all in that remote. Also, on the remote, you'll get remote start system as well. So be able to remote start it when you're close enough proximity using the remote start on the remote itself. Also, on this pillar here, you're gonna have the security code passive uh, and or the security code keyless entry keypad. That allows you to be able to set your own uh, keypad there code there and be able to get in and out unlock and locking it now if you have the key on you you don't really need that but when you don't have the key is where that will come in real handy for you also privacy glass in the second row window the third row window as well as the back glass and you also for these back doors get child safety lock so that means you can lock that out so that way the kids in the back can't open those doors when you don't want them to uh, your fuel tank is gonna be a 17.9 gallon fuel tank also get easy fuel capless full of doors, so you no know, cap to worry about. Just pop that, press that open, uh, and then it'll go ahead and allow you to be able to get in. Just put just put the nozzle in there. No cap to worry about leaving behind, getting your hands dirty, anything like that. Uh, you can do that. Also, we'll, um, if you do need to use like maybe a gas can or something, it won't work in there because it takes two. Uh, the door has to be opened with two levers at the same time. So that's why you'd want to use the funnel that's provided with the vehicle. Also, this will get parameter alarm, which means it does have a couple different sensors, an intrusion sensor and an inclination sensor, which means when you have the vehicle locked, nobody's inside of it. It's going to pretty much just set that uh, the alarm for it. Somebody breaks the glass, tries to get inside, open, uh, pop those doors when it was locked. It's going to set the alarm off. So honk the horns, flash the lights. People know there's someone trying to get into the vehicle. Uh, so inclination sensors means that someone's going to try to take those nice 20 inch wheels off of it. They jack that up. Uh, it'll set off the alarms for that as well. Now, moving to the back, body colored rear spoiler back here. It does have high gloss pieces coming down from the side. Center high mounted stop light on the back. That's your third brake light, as I like to call it. Rear defrost with rear wiper back there as well, with a rear washer on the back to help keep that uh, clean back there. You will also get LED tail lights back here. So, full LEDs on the front as well as the back. Uh, they will get blacked out treatments. You kind of see it's a little darker there uh, in those, uh, those assemblies. Um, and then you also do get the lift gate, it's going to be a black. 
uh, applicate on that lift gate back there. Still get the Ford emblem rear view camera mentioned 360 view on that the camera there. You do get uh, rear parking sensors as well. So as you're backing up, you're going to get alerted if you get too close to anything. You will see in that molded in uh, black bumper back here, you will see uh, reflectors in those as well. And you also notice a bumper pad on the top of the bumper as well right there. The rear skid plate is going to be black as well. So kind of, again, giving that sport look back here um, for the vehicle. And you'll get dual exhaust uh, with the chrome chips back here as well on the back. So make sure I got everything there. Uh, black, yep, got all that, that stuff. Also on the back or inside, um, oh, forgot, before I get inside, it does get trailer sway control, standard equipment on this. You get power lift gate as well. So you can use either press the button underneath the lever or use a remote to uh, power up that lift gate. Mini spare is going to come along with the vehicle. Inside, you'll get a cargo net a hooks. Uh, so you'll be able to put any kind of cargo net back there. You do get a road uh, load floor tie down hooks as well. And you're going to get a kind of a, uh, a flooring back there that you can take that off so you can get down under there where the spare tire is and such and an extra compartment there. Cargo area light as well as a PowerPoint in the back of the vehicle. So those that's all of our standard exterior features. A lot of features there, but let's go inside so you can see what the interior, interior styling looks like. Now moving to the interior, this will have one color interior of choice here, and that is going to be the ebony interior. It means the ebony environment. So you're going to see a lot of ebony accents and finishes to the vehicle so ebony colored uppers which means your headliner uh the pillars coming down will be ebony uh overhead console bin and the visors will be ebony as well that kind of thing on the center stack itself which this this is your center stack right here you're going to see a high gloss black color uh on the center stack itself as well as the center stack buttons uh, so you can see that's going to be high gloss inside of there as well. Uh, you will get like a satin aluminum surround around those switches and buttons and such like that right there. Uh, you also notice the armrests are going to be uh, high gloss black color as well on the door armrests and such. It'll have red stitching. I don't know if you can see that in the door right there. You'll get red stitching on the doors as well. Um, and then, of course, uh, the steering wheel bezel. Uh, as well as going to be that satin uh, silver as well along there. Get, um, it will be a black steering wheel. You will see you see flat bottom on the steering wheel itself. Uh, red stitching on that steering wheel as well. And then if we look at the seats, you can see that same black uh, accent on the seats. Red stitching on those seats as well. Um, and then you even have, this is going to be the ActiveX material on the outside of the seat with the Miko suede inserts inside there with that red stitching on there so now getting in the vehicle you will get the uh, door sill scuff plates front and rear with the st line branded on the front ones and then you'll get illuminated entry so you can be able to see as you're getting in lights up the overhead lights up there also get ambient lights that will light up the footwells as well as your media hub area too with that ice blue lighting uh, you will get uh, floor mats uh, they're going to be black carpeted floor mats with red stitching outer on the outer trim of that also have the explorer badging or branding on the floor mats for the first and second row floor mats for you you will see front row is going to be bucket seats with the flow flow through console 10-way power driver seat eight-way power passenger seat so dual power seats here uh, uh, 10 ways usually means it's going to go forward and back power recline power lumbar also the seat cushion will go up and down uh, not only in the back part but also the front cushion Whereas in this and here, it's going to go forward and back using that lever. Also, recline goes forward and back, power uh, lumbar as well. And then the seat cushion will go up and down as well for you. Now, in the back seat, uh, oh, also front heated seats is going to be standard equipment on the ST line. Uh, Four-way manual adjustment for the head restraint as well. So it'll go up and down as well as it'll ratchet forward and, uh, and then kick, kick it to the back as well. Um, second row does have the captain's chairs with the armrest. Same stitching back here as well and the Miko suede inserts with the ActiveX on the outside of that those seats easy entry uh, and easy entry means you just pull this lever right here and it's going to lower that seat down and then pop it again kind of pull at it again it'll actually let release from the back so it swings forward allows for people to get in the back seat real nice and easy uh 50 50 split bend seat for that back seat back there which allows you to lay that seat flat down uh, completely flat in the back for you and i love how they've uh, made it uh, new and upgraded recently on that that uh, the third row seat also that last system lower anchors and tethers for children allows you to securely fasten the front and rear facing car seats into the second or third row seats if you want it in the third row and even has a tether strap position on the back of it for those front facing car seats there too uh, you will notice the levers on the front of these these uh, second row seats allows you to adjust the seat give you a little more leg room if you need to or bring it forward if you need to give some people in the back a little more leg room too 
Uh, rear auxiliary controls on the back of the console will let you know that that could be something that could be taken off of the order. I know in 2022, part constraints issues and, and chip issues, they did have to remove the rear climate controls on the back of the console. Still can control it on the front. We'll talk about that in a little bit. But they may take those controls off, just so you know that. We'll talk about that uh, when it comes to the optional equipment. Uh, also, in the back of the console, you'll have a USB port, two of them, a USB Type-A and Type-C on the back of that. Now, for your uh, windows, power windows, uh, front row, one touch up and down feature, which means the driver's window as well as the front passenger window, you just hard press it down. So you feel it click, um, then you just you don't have to hold it. So it's going to go ahead and roll the window down. Also coming up, just pull it until you feel that little click. Uh, then you just can let go and it's going to roll the windows up. Uh, the power uh, door locks as well, of course, on the vehicle. And you do get for the steering wheel, leather wrap steering wheel. We talked about that. It is heated as well with the red stitching on there. You will get the manual tilt and telescoping steering wheel. Just pull the lever underneath. It'll go up and down, forward and back. Cruise control is going to be located on the steering wheel as well as redundant audio controls and controls for the productivity screen. Speedometer and tack back there, but also in between there, 6.5 inch color LCD productivity screen as well. Push button starts located right back here. You can kind of see it right there. Um, for your um, temperature control, tri-zone temperature control. So the driver, front passenger can have two different temperatures as well as those in the rear seat can as well. And again, you'll be able to control that uh, the rear climate up here as well as as long as the rear climate controls are in the back of the console, they can control it back there as well. B&O audio sound system with uh, 12 speakers. So Bang & Olufsen 12 speaker audio with subwoofer, including HD radio, also Sirius XM satellite radio is also standard. Uh, you also see the Sync 3 with the 8-inch LCD touchscreen uh, right here. It gives you the Apple CarPlay, Android Auto as well, and gives you the Ford Pass Connect that allows you to stay connected to the vehicle using the Ford Pass app. So it's a free app you download. Uh, you just connect a vehicle to it. You can unlock and lock it from anywhere, schedule remote start times. Uh, you can even uh, remote start at any time as well. See the tire pressure on the tires as well as fuel that you have in the vehicle, even where the vehicle is located all through this one app, which is really cool. The, we're gonna go to 360 view for the rest of this. It does have the, the rear view mirror up here. It is gonna be an auto dimming rear view mirror. I mean, you don't have to worry about it. Cars come behind you with those bright lights. It's gonna automatically dim the mirror for you. The overhead console includes a sunglass bin, map lights as well up right, right up here. Also eliminated visor vanity mirrors, which means the, the other ones you pull that down, then there's just a door on the back side of that. You open it up, and there's two lights to illuminate the mirror that's on the back side of those visors. Um, down in the media hub area, so this is the media hub. There's a door that shows, kind of see a little opening right there. Press that little chrome button right there. It's going to open that door up, gives you access to the media hub area where there's going to be a PowerPoint down in there. Should be a USB type A and C as well down there. Also be a wireless charging pad for the ST line as well in the vehicle. And then you will also get in the center console will be another PowerPoint as well. And then rotary dial shifter, your parking brake, as well as the, with the auto hold. And then you can't see it in here, but your 4x4 models, there'll be a, a train management switch will be between those uh, the parking brakes and the console right there. Uh, that's where that'll be located as well as your cup holders right here. So the glove box locks up. You can see it there if you need to. You can lock that. And I think... Uh, that's most of the standard equipment. So there are some other standard equipment features as well. Now I'm going to show you a, a clip that I recorded on another video because it was um, not standard on that vehicle. And that is the Co-Pilot 360 Assist Plus package is also standard equipment on the ST line. So check out the features that are coming with that. And then we'll get into some of the optional equipment after that. And we're going to talk about the Ford Co-Pilot 360 Assist Plus package. And this package is available as optional equipment on the XLT and the ST models but is standard on your ST line, your Timberline, Limited, King Ranch, and Platinum models. So available in a lot of different trims here. Um, now this, this one is called, it's including the intelligent adaptive cruise control with stop and go and lane centering. So let me talk about those individually. So adaptive cruise part of that is gonna take that cruise control to the next level. And so you can have that adaptive cruise set. So if you come up behind somebody, it'll slow you down to go their speed. So you don't have to use the brake and you don't uh, come up behind them. Um, if you pass them and it's safe to resume, it's gonna speed you back up to your speed unless there's somebody else up there again. Now also we'll bring you to complete stop. Stop and go means it'll bring you to a stop without you pressing the brake. 
in those types of situations if they take off and you can it'll start resuming keeping that distance behind them until you can pass them and you can speed back up also lane centering will keep you in the center of your lane a little bit different than your lane keeping which is actually can be activated with your cruise or not the lane centering is activated with your cruise control if you select it in your cruise control settings and it'll help keep you in the center lane. So it will not let you get over to the lines. Its goal is to keep you in the center of your lane. And the intelligent part of this is also going to be able to recognize the speed signs. So if uh, you are going along, let's say you can keep, and you can even put in the tolerance. I like to go five over. So let's say we're in a 70 mile an hour zone. My tolerance is set at, at five over. I'm going 75 miles an hour. If that speed sign changes to 60 in a construction area or something like that, it's going to slow you down to go 65 because I have mine set at a tolerance of five miles an hour over. So that's a great system. Uh, really kind of helps with getting any kind of speeding tickets that you maybe don't realize the speed zone changed on you the speed traps that kind of thing this will help out with that also evasive steering assist uh, basically means if you're not able to stop in time and you need to avoid by steering it's going to assist in the steering around that it e makes it easier to steer around uh, the vehicle also you get the voice activated navigation system that's the on-screen navigation system with um, i believe this in here is going to give you several months uh, three years of service i believe with that um, comes with the traffic and travel link as well with that system so that's a, a copilot 360 assist package is again available on the xlt and that's t line and standard on or uh, i should say available on the the xlt and st and standard on the ST line, Timberline, Limited, King Ranch, and Platinum models. Now let's talk about the optional packages. So as we just mentioned, you just watched the clip on the Ford Copilot 360 Assist Plus package. That is standard equipment on the ST line. But there's three other packages that are standalone options or not. They're, they're optional, I should say, packages. So let me play you the clips because, again, those three packages are also available on other trim levels. So I recorded a clip for those already. So uh, check out these next three videos. We're going to go over the Class 4 trailer tow package, what's included in that package, what's included in the cargo, manage, cargo area management system, as well as the smokers package. So we're going to cover those three. Uh, so check these clips out for all three of those different packages that are optional, again, available if you want to add those to your order. Let's talk about the class four trailer tow package. And this is available on the base trim, XLT, ST line, limited, King Ranch, and platinum models. It's standard on the ST and Timberline models here. So pretty much available on all of the different trims here for you. And so this package here is gonna allow you to be able to pull that trailer. So you're gonna get a class four trailer tow hitch. So it's gonna be that two inch uh, size hitch for you. It's gonna also come with wiring. I believe four pin wiring that's gonna go along with that. And you already get trailer sway controls, uh, standard equipment with this. But this uh, this package includes a couple of different features, the wiring and the hitch, so that you can go ahead and pull that trailer if you need to. Uh, I'm not sure, you have to double check the tow rate on that um, so because uh, depends on which motor you have it's going to have di different towing capabilities there for you so you want to make sure if you have a trailer you check and see what uh, what expedition you're or what explorer you're looking for what the maximum tow is going to be for uh, for that so you know if that's going to pull your trailer or not so again trailer tow package is available as standard equipment or as a as a package available on the explorer now let's talk about the cargo area management system. Now this this one is available on all Explorer models, um, uh, but it's standard on the Timberline model. So this uh, this package here uh, is going to include the cargo netting. Uh, so we really don't see an image of that. Cargo net actually allows you to be able to put like different things in it, so that way it won't move around in there. So you use the hooks up in here and the loops to be able to put, kind of position that in there, so you can put things in there that won't move around or roll around for you. Also, you get a cargo well rubber mat. So that's gonna go down below there. So that way you can go ahead and you know put, put that in there and cover it up. So, and then you have a reversible load floor as well. So um, now you'll notice too, uh, these systems, you already come standard equipment. You can pull the little, there's a, a, a floor there that comes up and you can put things down in there with the dividers in there as well. So um, this is a, a real nice to, way to be able to if you put a lot of things in there. You know, the rubber mat in there, the reversible uh, a load floor means that one side it's carpeted, but on the other side, it's gonna be more all weather. So you can turn that over So uh, for that. So uh, again, this is available. Uh, on all the different trim levels and standard on the Timberline. Now, a package that Ford is putting in here with the packages and some trims that puts it in as standalone options. And 
Usually a package means it's more than one feature. So this is available, the Smokers Pack is available on any of your Explorer models. And you're getting two things in this. You're getting a little cup here that you can put in the con in the cup holder uh, that allows you to put ash, uh, if your ashes from cigarettes in there, or if you want to use it as a tray uh, coin holder, you can do that as well. Also, then it comes with this lighter that will go in that PowerPoint uh, so you can, you know, of course, light those cigarettes and such for you. So this is a package comes with those two items for $75 and is available on all your Explorer models. So now we're going to talk about optional equipment here that's available. And uh, these are what we call standalone options because they kind of stand alone. So you can just add the one option into these. So um, so let's kind of go ahead and go over these. Uh, all these are optional, uh, available, do not require any of the packages to add them to your order. Uh, so let's kind of go through some of these. First off, one of them is this upgraded wheel. So you can get a 21 inch alloy wheel that's available as you can see what that looks like. So really nice black wheel. Uh, it is an extra $700 because it is bigger upgraded wheel. Uh, so that is available for you as optional equipment. Well, let's just go ahead and leave that on there because I'm gonna show you some things with pricing towards the end here with this. Now we're gonna go through some of these, ex these other options that are some things that I might recommend that you get later. Um, some of them that could hold up your build and such, and we'll go through these because some of these are factory options and some of these are actually um, Ford accessory options. And Splash Guards is one of those Ford accessories option. And so uh, if you do put it on your build, it's it's actually a dealer installed option. So um, if you do put it on your build, it actually will be shipped to the dealership and a dealership installs it. But at 180, you pay for the, the splash guards and the dealership installs it for free. So the difference is, is that if you do get this later, which splash guards are holding up some builds, is that you will have to either install it yourself or have your dealership do it and they would probably charge you labor for that it's just something to keep in mind and think about but um I've, I've been telling most people if you want to get your schedule quickly leave that off also the raw the roof rail crossbars so this is where you can actually put it and attach those to the top put different luggage racks up there or ski racks or whatever it might be on the top of that so that is also something as you can see there available on the st line uh, right there so there's optional equipment uh that is also uh, the roof rack crossbars are a dealer installed option so they would be shipped to the dealership this shouldn't hold up your build because um but you can get this through ford accessories website as well but shouldn't hold up your build and um you know if you don't want them installed maybe you only want them for trips you could they can just leave them inside uh for you and then you can install them when you want to now twin panel moonroof is something i do encourage if you're wanting this on there order it put it on your on your order 1695 gives you the uh, nice uh twin panel moonroof as you see the first panel opens up uh power sunshade as well that, that closes that again available on the st line and something that needs to be done at the factory if you want it installed uh, so that's a factory installed option you want to put on there so let's see if i can find that one there it is um little known uh fact let's see here um includes the remote control from the front windows open uh front windows and from the outside of the vehicle so it's uh the the moonroof can be also included on the global open and close so which didn't even realize it was on there <laughs> so uh, moving on down we do have the wheel lock kit as well so that is something that's a dealer installed option uh, it'll be shipped sometimes they put it with the vehicle sometimes they ship it ahead of time and the dealership would install it they take one of the lug nuts off put this one on um so it's kind of if you want to protect those nice wheels this is something you can add to the vehicle. Wheel locking uh, kit usually doesn't hold up your builds because it is a dealer installed option. You can install it yourself as well if you want to get it later through Ford Accessories is, uh, that way. Into block heater, $90 for that. So that is a factory installed option. So if you do want that, you want to make sure you order put it on your build uh, so that they'll put it on at the factory. But that does help uh, warm up, keep that engine block heat, uh, heated up overnight when it's on those cold days. So it starts up a lot easier for you. Moving down, these other things, the reason they're already checkmarked is because they're already standard equipment for you. If you don't see a price, that means it's also included in the package. So Bliss is standard equipment, but Bliss with trailer coverage uh, do does require the tow package to get the trailer coverage for the Bliss. So keep that in mind there too. So that's all the exterior options. Again, 360 cameras, already standard equipment, as well as LED fog lights. Now moving down to the interior options here. Um, the uh, one option that we have, as we mentioned earlier, uh, if we look at the side picture, is the second row seats are, but are the captains. If you want the bench seat, it is, a, it is a standalone option. So you'll see it doesn't change the price any. You just decide which way you want to go. Uh, but you want, if you want the 35, 30, 35 bench seat, uh, it still has an easy entry on those outside seats. And we'll have armrests as well. Uh, uh, so there you go, armrests for the seats. Uh, actually, I think the armrests are in the 
flip down console in the middle. Uh, so that's how you would get that. So if you do want the bench seat in the second row, you can get it. Make sure you add it as, a, as an option. So if you talk to your dealership, don't forget about that. Uh, make sure they order it with your vehicle uh, so you can get it right. Uh, the cargo mat, and also that is a uh, Ford Accessories. Um, you can get through Ford Accessories website if you want. Should not hold up your builds. Uh, I haven't noticed it uh, being a, a problem yet. It is a dealer installed option in the sense that it will be shipped ahead of time. And the dealership will put it in your vehicle for you. Now, these two here, I would say leave off your build. Just for one, there is no real major install, as well as the cargo mat as well. So you do have the roadside assistance kit, and that just comes in a box with all this stuff with the bag, and the dealership puts it in it. You can do that yourself. It is very easy to get that through Ford Accessories website, uh, as well as this first aid kit. Both of those are available. I would recommend on both of those, just get it from Ford Accessories website. Do not put it on your build. Um, the only reason I say that is the more of these dealer installed options you put on there, the more likeliness eventually you'll catch something that maybe is out of stock and then it, that your vehicle won't get scheduled for a build date and then it prolongs it. So I just say, you know, just go with the things that, you know, maybe need to be installed and then everything else you can get through Ford Accessories website, just leave and get it later. Uh, that's always my recommendation. Now, four liners are something. Uh, you get that front and rear uh, with the carpeted mats because anytime you get any kind of custom mats that come with it, like the ST line has, uh, you just add the floor liners and you still get the carpeted mats. So $200 if you want that. Floor liners are something that are actually considered a factory installed option, so it should not hold up your build. Now, these two here, these uh, cargo organizers, there's a standard and there's a large, and they got the pictures mixed up for some reason on these. The standard one actually has three partitions. The large one has four. So that's the difference between those. And again, those are two things. Get through Ford Accessories website because you can get those right now. They are available. Just go on their website and uh, and order them that way. Um, and instead of putting it putting them on here, because they'll be they'll be shipped to the dealership ahead of time, and the dealership will give it to you. There's no install necessarily needed for that. Um, now, auto start stop removal. We talked about that earlier, that that may be required. It'll be a $50 credit, I believe, if they have to remove that off of your bill. But be prepared that that might happen. Uh, it is already on the order guide, so that which means that there's a possibility that could happen throughout this model year. All weather floor mats for the second row, uh, for the third row with the second row bench seat. And there's another one for the captains. Um, so if you want mats to go back here in the third row, um, two different ones, depending on if there's bucket seats or if there's captains, or if there's bucket seats or bench seat, I should say, um, for that. So um, you pick whichever one you have for that configuration. Also, this cooler bag, again, that's a Ford Accessories option. Um, just get that later. Uh, Ford Accessories website is what I encourage you to do. Um, and then let's see what else we have. Rear climate controls credit, as I mentioned earlier, that is also already on the order guide as a possibility of needing to add that to your order. Um, because for, if, if they have any kind of parts issues again, like they did last year, they may have to remove the console, the controls off the back, and they'll give you a credit for that. I'm not sure the credit amount. Um, I don't know. I want to say $100 for that. I'm not sure. You do have the dual headrest rear entertainment system. Rear seat entertainment system, I should say. That it's going to give you, they're going to switch out these headrests with um, other ones that'll have the can, the screen and everything in the headrest. So they're headrest uh, DVD players. When you go with that, you will get the, it'll, uh, the adjustment. It will not be able to flip forward and back, but just up and down for those. Uh, but that is available for you. And that is a Ford Accessories item uh, that they'll put on at the factory though. So that, you know, if you want that, that's a pretty cool feature to have, um, you know, um, maybe go ahead and put it on there. You also do get the 4G LTE Wi-Fi hotspot credit. What this means is your vehicle, because of the Ford Pass Connect and such, some of those features in the embedded modem, you're able to be able to have your vehicle be a Wi-Fi hotspot for people that don't have Wi-Fi capable uh, or data type of phones and they just need a Wi-Fi. You can make your vehicle be a Wi-Fi hotspot. It would charge you regardless uh, if you have that, but right now they are removing that in a lot of vehicles, um, uh, giving you a credit for that. Uh, just I think it's fifty dollar credit uh, because of the microchip issues and such. That just means that everybody else will not be able to connect to Wi-Fi unless they have data to be able to use when they're on the road. So I think that's everything. So we talked about it. Voice the navigation is included in that Copilot 360 Assist uh, Plus package. So everything else is already included. So there you go. That's all of our optional equipment for you for the uh, Escape uh, or the Explorer Timberline or Explorer ST Line Edition. I'll get it right. <laughs>
Now, lastly, I want to be able to go through and kind of show you um, at that point, once you've selected how you want to with the Ford's website, they do have a summary of this. So you can actually kind of see everything you've chosen in a way of your configured. So we added that was 21 inch aluminum wheels to this. Uh, we didn't really click on anything else and add those to our build. But if you do, you'll see those amounts in here. And then you can actually go down here and you can see what that price breakdown is. Now, I do want to let you know, here's the base MSRP. There is the options that we added. This destination charge, that is a charge that Ford will charge you to get the vehicle from the factory to the dealer. So that is a, a charge that will be added to every vehicle. Nothing, you, no way around that or get around it. Um, no way for you to pick it up at the factory either or anything like that. Now, this acquisition fee is something that can come off of here. Go to the calculator. Uh, that is actually something you, a fee you get when you do a lease. So if you decide to do a traditional finance, you'll notice now it is missing and is no longer there. So you can go in here, configure this. Let's say you don't want to, let's say you want to put $1,000 down. Let's say you have a, a trade-in that's uh, $5,000 is what it's worth. Um, and uh, you have don't owe anything on it or something. So you have a net trade there. Uh, and let's say you want to go 60 months on this. And let's say you can get better than 4.9 through your local bank. Let's say you go custom. Let's say you can get, I don't know, let's say you can get 4% or something. Oop, not 26, 4. There you go. Let's say you want to get 4%. That will change your payment and everything. Hit save and close. It kind of updates that and lets you know what that's going to be. So anyway, but from here, what's another thing I want to show you is that you can actually print this. Print that right there, and that actually is the build. So you can take that into your local dealer and say, here you go. This is how I want mine built, how I want it ordered. Um, let's go. You know, that kind of thing. Or you can hit the share button. If you're working from your, with your dealership, Not they're not local, you can actually share this. Via, you can copy it, put it in, post it into an email. You can hit, click this to share using your default email for your, your computer or phone, whatever it might be. And it will send that over to uh, whoever you want to. You put their email address in and it shares it to them. So great way, especially if you're going to work with us and you're from out of state, you're not local. That's how we'd want you to share your order to us. So that way we have this and we know how to configure it. And we go ahead and order it and send you the sheet and everything. So that's how that would work right there. So again, uh, hopefully you have a good local dealership that you can work with. And uh, they know exactly how to do price protection as well as locking your rates to things that uh, some dealerships uh, struggle with learning how to do and, and uh, actually honoring that for their customers. That is something here at Law MacArthur, since we are taking orders that we know how to do. So I'll tell you a little bit about our pricing policy and everything. Uh, we do MSRP pricing on any ordered vehicle. We have a uh, dealer fee of $500 uh, that we put on all, all vehicles. That is our administration fee, your dock fee, and such like that. Uh, we add nothing else to ours. We don't add, you know, a, a ceramic coat or, you know, a front a window tent or something like that. Some dealers will have mandatory aftermarket items that were required on all their uh, sold vehicles. We don't do that here. Uh, we just have the dealer fee, and that's nothing else is added to that uh, if you'd like that. So uh, very easy to work with. We know how price protection works, which means price protection means that when you come in and order your vehicle, whatever the price is at the time you order it, that is a price you're going to pay. Even if Ford raises the prices on their vehicles down the road, which sometimes happens uh, when they're when they're producing vehicles, uh, we'll, you're still going to be locked into that price. Also, if there's any special rates or incentives. Uh, we'll make sure you get locked in for that as well because what Ford allow you to do is you can either pick the incentives from when you order the vehicle or when the vehicle comes in, whichever is better for you. And we know how that works. We handle that. In fact, we even train other dealers on how that works as well. Uh, so if you want to work with us, uh, we'll take your order. Uh, we are um, doing a special YouTube special. Uh, we have a special offer for our YouTube viewers, I should say. And that is free shipping up to $1,000 if you finance with us at standard rates. So that offer is not in, uh, can, is not compatible with any kind of low interest rates or any other offers um, other than, of course, the MSRP pricing. Um, but if you want to work with us, you want it shipped right to your door, plan to finance a vehicle anyway, we'll pay up to $1,000 of that shipping costs so we get the the money for that from the lenders from the uh sending them that loan to them and that's how we uh pay for that uh that information some of it some of it does come off the price of the vehicle as well so we are actually when you figure that in we are going a little bit below msrp on some of those deals so again if you're wanting to do that reach out to us uh you can get a hold of us and we can go ahead and help you out with that order as well if you want to and we'll tell you, we can, of course uh go through all the details with you when you work with one of our sales staff so again thanks for watching this video hope you did enjoy it uh if you did smash that like button i'd appreciate it helps the video out lets other people know this is a good video they mean they need to watch uh, drop your comments down below as well uh, let us know what you think of this video and if there's anything we missed uh, let us know uh, we'd love to, to get to make sure it's completely uh 
com complete, right? Complete guide video. So make sure you uh, let us know if there's anything we're missing there. Also, don't forget, if you want to, you can follow us on social media. We're at Law MacArthur on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. And you can follow me. If there's my link to your account, follow me there on the places you can find me on different social media sites right there uh, from my link tree account right there. Also, I uh, forgot to mention though too, don't forget if you're not subscribed to hit that red subscribe button down below so you can subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. That way you can be notified next time we have another video uploaded to your YouTube channel. And we do actually do a live stream every Tuesday night. So if you do put a vehicle on order, you want to know maybe some, uh, some other different things, a way of, okay, is my vehicle going to schedule this week? Is scheduling happening? Uh, are, are they scheduling for Explorers this week and such? We actually go through those on our live stream. Talk about that as well as any different type of production informations and delays. We let you know about those as well. Any of the dealer updates when there's price increases and such, we keep you updated on all those for all the different models on our live stream every Tuesday night, 7 p.m. Central Time. And you can always watch that as a replay if you want to watch all the highlights if you're not able to watch it live with us. So definitely check those out on our YouTube channel too. So again, thanks for watching this video. And until the next video, stay positive, be kind to each other, be kind to yourself, and we'll see you in the next video.